you know what I'm pretty easy until about January 1st I let them kind of do their thing they see me every day during the course of the season and I'm probably the last guy they want to talk to early on in the season uh, in the off season so I, I, I give them through the holidays and then they'll start hearing from me a little bit I, I text certain guys had to give Musgrove a little grief uh, here recently to make sure he had some Dramamine in him and stuff like that but um, for the most part I kind of leave him alone yeah, you know, I'm not so much skeptical in the fact that you realize you need, you know, probably eight for five over the course of the season. It's just the quality that we had and how are they going to fit in. But as you saw, you know, we get down to the end, it, there were three guys that we leaned on a lot. Um, and, you know, it, it never, nothing looks like it, it does at the beginning. So give AJ credit in the fact that, you know, he did to put together a deep group and, they kind of ruled the day early on. The relievers kind of, you know, came a little bit more prominent in the second half of the season, especially down the stretch. So you can never have too much starting pitching. You know what? I didn't see the reports that he did go there. So I'm, I'm still, hopefully ends up somewhere else. But, you know, if he does end up going home and he goes home, he just has something we have to deal with. No, I think we're, we're able to have guys that so-called you know, short, several shortstops if that was the case. Um, you know, Jake can play anywhere. He could move over to first if we had to. You know, Fernando Tatis is probably as athletic and, you know, a guy that could play anywhere in the field, probably any sport. So I think, you know, if there's a team built to be able to move some guys around, it would probably be us. Now, there are probably some tough conversations along the way as far as that goes, but, um, I think with the athletes we have, we were able to, to move some guys around and, and make it fit. Yeah, I think, you know, it's probably about his time to, to get more of a workload. So, you know, the times we used him late in the season, he, he did well. You know, he had one game in Arizona where he caught Joe, and I don't know if it was a shutout or one-run game, he hit a home run. And, you know, so, you know, you're always looking, you know, for, for homegrown guys that, you know, aren't, aren't making a ton of money at a certain amount of time we have a lot of guys that are so you, you have to support that with with guys like him and it's always nice to have guys from within the system because you know it's I've often said it's like you know it's like a university for you your freshman your sophomore junior you finally get to varsity and there's a lot of pride in the organization when you come up in it yeah I think there was quite a bit and I didn't know him going in and, in, and because of the shortened spring he didn't get much of a look either you know, we had, at the time, we had Caratini as well, and it was tough to get him, you know, we could get him some DH at bats, but it was tough to get him behind the plate. So I, you know, I just followed him over the course of the season, had some contact with the AAA guys, and seemed like he matured as the season went along. And then when he was with us for that last stint, I think it was as much a part of the team as he's felt, and, and he was all in for us and did everything we asked. Yeah, I think, look, I mean, it, it, when you come in, especially this year with the late, uh, you know, with the late date for the trade deadline, you know, you come in and, and there's such an expectation level. I, I don't know that he put any pressure on himself as far as that goes, but you can't help a little bit knowing that, you know, this trade's made for you to come in and, and put the team over the top. You know, the numbers probably didn't look like they did on the back of his baseball card, but when we really needed him to be there at the end with big hits and in the postseason, he was. But I think settling in and getting a full season, getting spring training with his team now, he's, uh, he understands the, how we do things here. His, he's embraced by his teammates. You know, spring training is always important for a first-year player to get to know his team. He didn't have that. I think for all the firsts are out of the way for him, and he can kind of settle in and do his thing. Yeah, it is right now he's he's a starter. I mean, you know, we we lost some guys and you know, he came in last year as a starter as well and opened up the season as a starter. So the great thing about him is he's about as versatile as pitcher as I've been around at this point and he'll do anything to help the team. So um, I know he's happy about being back. I know he's excited about getting a, a chance to start again, but we'll see how the season goes and where the needs are and as he showed you last year, he's open for anything he can do to help the team. Yeah, I think we could potentially plug it in later too. We have a really good core group here, and a team that's coming off a you know pretty good season and and tasted the postseason. You know, got to the National League Championship Series, and a lot of our core guys remain. So it's a hungry team, and as we sit here right now, I, I like our team going into if we were going to spring training tomorrow. 
but it, it allows you not to have to have urgency, you know, here at the winter meetings to try to do something to plug some of those holes because we really don't have that many. Yeah, look, Josh came in, did a nice job for us. You know, he fit in really well. You know, for a guy that was used to playing every day, he had to, at times, look at a reduced role, come off the bench. You know, a guy was used to playing first base every day. He's doing a lot of DH in it. was a difficult, you know, scenario for him too. But he got along. He was all in for us. He's, he's really, if you got to know him, he's just a terrific gentleman. And and uh, it was never a problem, never complained about, you know, whether, whether he was in the lineup or not or whether he was DHing, he was there to, to try to push us as far as we could go, and he certainly helped us do that. Well, it's performance. starts with performance. I think he was as consistent any shortstop in the league, you know, and, and a guy that, you know, with a team that offensively we were pretty deep, you know, not only did he contribute on the offensive end, but defensively he was fantastic for us and really was, was the key to our, our defensive prowess last year. So, um, you know, after a, a year of him kind of getting settled in the States, not getting to play a whole lot, you know, was, was, was thrust into the lineup and did a fantastic job for us. So, I mean, you know, for me, a, a gold glove caliber type guy for us and, and really solidified our defense. Not with you. You know what he's going to do. He's going to prepare like he does. He's going to compete. You know, he came in last year and was, I think, might have thrown two or three innings his first time out for us in, in a shortened spring. Um, you, you know, you're you, really with starting pitching, you don't worry too much about that because he's going to get his innings in. It's relievers that, you know, how much are they going to get uh, in, in the WBC and how consistent that's going to be. So. I, one of the, I don't worry too much about him based on you know how hungry he is to compete every year and and how prepared he is to do his job all the time. Uh, just, just be another feather in his cap, and I'm I'm proud of the fact that he wants to represent his country. I have a real impact. I mean, they got a taste of not only just getting to the playoffs, but you know winning two series and winning against two really good teams, and then you know and then being so close to potentially getting to a World Series. I mean, you. you that's tough to get out of you know you, you really want to push that to the next level of the next year and it was exciting for everybody it was fun for everybody um, it ends really dramatically when you get that far and it just gives you that much more incentive to take it to the next level